All right, welcome back everyone. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to extrude along a curve. And this tutorial is for people that aren't on the latest version of Maya, which is Maya 2022, which has this really convenient sweep mesh feature, which allows us to extrude along a curve quite easily, just in case I'm using it in one of my tutorials. Uh, this will be a, like a fallback video. All right, uh, let's get started. So. Um, we have a couple of methods when it comes to extruding along a curve. We can extrude polygon faces, or we can extrude another curve along the second curve. Uh, let's go through both methods. First, we'll need a curve. So I'm gonna go to the Create tab, Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool. I'm just gonna reset this. There we go. And then I'm going to, let's go into the top view and draw out a curve. So here's my curve, pressing enter to complete it, and then I'll go back to that perspective view. So now we need a polygon face or faces of some sort to extrude along here. So I'll just add a cube into the scene. So here's my cube. And then um, all we need to do for this method is select the faces we want to extrude along here, which for me, I'm just gonna select this one over here, and then we'll select the curve and then click extrude. So I'm gonna go into face mode, select this face, hold down shift, select my curve, and then um, open up the modeling toolkit and I can click extrude from here. And there we go. It's extruded from the start of the curve to the end. And all we need to do with this is give it more divisions and we'll have that curve profile. Very easy. Uh, the density of the divisions is based on the control points you lay down for your curve. Um, but with this method, you're pretty limited to what you can do with the um, the mesh that's been extruded, right? We can give it a bit of taper by enabling it from here, but there aren't too many other options. We can't really change the shape of it. We can't scale it very easily while keeping the profile. Um, so this is um, more of a quick method when you need a fast extrusion. So I'm going to delete this, and now let's take a look at the second method. With the second method, we're going to need um, another curve. So let's draw one out. I'm going to, um, what do we want to do with this one? Let's go to the Create tab, Curve Tools, and I'm going to go to the Option Box. I'm actually going to set it to Linear for this one, this demonstration. All right, let's go to the Front View, and I'm just going to draw out something, so maybe something like this, and then I'm going to complete it, and I'm going to close this curve by holding down Shift and the right mouse button, open close and there we go we have a closed curve now and then we'll go back to here and I just want to rotate this so I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and now with this method we just want to um, select the first curve hold down shift select the second curve and all we need to do is extrude again but this time we can't use this extrude option um, we're going to be extruding a nerve surface which means that we need to use it from the Surfaces tab. So Surfaces and Extrude. And there we go. Um, it's reverse right now, so I'm going to select it. And um, Surfaces and Reverse Direction. And the nice thing about this option, this method, is that um, it has a couple options that are similar to um, the Sweep Mesh feature or features. So if we open up the Attribute Editor, um, we can go to Under Extrude. Uh, we can change the scale, which is going to change the taper, just like that. Or we can change the rotation, which will give it a twist. There we go. I'm just going to undo that as well. Um, and also what we can do with this is, to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to put it on its own layer. I can select it, add it to a new layer so I don't accidentally select it. And then we can select the curve, and we can change the shape of this and it'll change the, the scale of that as well. So I can scale it up. I can go into the CVs and move or scale these as well, right? And I can add new um, CVs as well, so new edit points. Um, so this is pretty good. So if you're using um, even the first method, what I recommend is converting that the faces into its own curve and then extruding with the second method because it'll give you a lot more freedom and flexibility in how you control that. So let me just show you how you would do that. So I'm going to, for now, get rid of this and I'll get rid of this as well. So let's add a plane into the scene 
And with this plane, I'm going to rotate it just so it's facing my curve. And I'll lower the subdivisions as well. Probably make it uh, two and two for now. Just nice and simple. And then um, normally we would select the faces there and extrude, but this time we're gonna take that edge perimeter around the faces that we want, right? So in this case, I'm going to just grab the perimeter edges. And then we need to convert that to a curve. So let's go to the Modify tab, Convert, and down here we have something called Polygon Edges to Curve. I'm gonna open up that option box, just gonna reset this for a second, and I'm going to change it to a linear curve because I want it to keep it straight. I want to keep it straight. <laughs> All right, um, and then click Convert. And it's hard to tell if anything happened, but if we open up our outliner, we have a curve now, and we have that plane. So we can get rid of the plane, and here's our curve. So I can select this, I can shift select the curve, and we can go to surfaces and extrude. And there you go. And what we can do is same as before, maybe we'll add this to this layer and make it so that we can't select it. And we can change the look of our curve. So um, because we chose a two by two for subdivisions, we're gonna have control points that match that. So now we can easily, you know, grab a few of these, scale these out, and we can easily change the look of them. And yeah, so that's um, the pretty much the same as the second method, but we're converting the first method into a curve. So if that makes sense. But it, this way, way will give you a lot of flexibility in how you can create can create the shape, and you can always um, add more points if you want and just reshape this how you like. All right, that wraps up another one for us. Hopefully now you have a basic understanding of how to extrude along a curve. Um, that's it for this one, so we'll see you in the next. This has been Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art.